economic slowdown confirmed, but already signs that a recovery will soon get back on track. Tim Condon of ING. Looking ahead, it, it actually is maybe signaling that the worst is behind. The third quarter may have been the low. The latest GDP figures show growth falling for a seventh successive quarter, bang in line with economists' forecasts. But a stronger-than-expected pickup in exports, a key driver of China's economy, and better-than-expected retail sales show business may be on a more solid footing. Growth may be stabilizing just in time for a new generation of leaders to take the reins of power in next month's party congress. China may also be getting a boost from a fresh spike in U.S. demand, signs of a nascent global economic recovery. Ting Lu, Bank of America, Merrill Lynch. Uh, most likely, uh, we reached the trough. Let's not be too optimistic. Uh, the recovery uh, going forward will be quite moderate. China still faces the colossal task of shifting its dated export-driven economic model to one led by domestic demand. And strong growth can bring problems of its own, like inflation and property bubbles that threaten social stability. But challenges aside, today's data will fan hopes that the bulls may be back before the end of 2012. This worker just arrived and is planning to quit in a month or two. The work's too depressing and boring. No creativity, nothing new. It's always the same thing. I come here every day to repeat the same movement.